the banking industry entrusted with the process of implementation of the new monetary policy. I am deeply pained and sincerely emphasize with you all over these unintended outcomes. To stem this tide, I have directed the CDN to deploy all legitimate resources and legal means to ensure that our citizens are adequately educated on the policy. Enjoy easy access to cash withdrawal through availability of appropriate amount of currency and the ability to make deposits. I have similarly directed the CBN should intensify collaboration with anti-corruption agencies so as to ensure that any institution or persons found to have impeded or sabotaged the implementation should be made to bear the full weight of the law. During the extended phase of the deadline for currency swap, I listened to invaluable pieces of advice from all million citizens and institutions across the nation. I similarly consulted widely with representatives of the state governors as well as the Council of State. Above all, as an administration that respects the rule of law, I have also noted that the subject matter is before the courts of our land and some pronouncements have been made. To further ease the supply pressures, particularly to our citizens, I have given approval to the CBN that the old 200 Naira banknotes be released back into circulation and that it should also be allowed to circulate as legal tender with the new 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1,000 Naira banknotes for 60 days from February 10, 2023 to April 10, 2023, when the old 200 Naira notes ceases to be legal tender. In line with Section 20, Subsection 3 of the CBN Act 2007, all existing old 1,000 Naira and 500 Naira notes remain redeemable at CBN and designated points. Considering the health of our economy and the legacy we must bequeath to the next administration and future generations of Nigerians, I admonish every citizen to strive harder to make their deposits by taking advantage of the platforms and windows being provided by the CVN. Let me assure Nigerians.